What's up, everybody? I am John Ricard. We're in a New York City snowstorm, as they like to call it, and we're going to talk about how to balance artificial light, which you see here, with natural light. So the first thing you might want to know is why would we want to do this? Normally, we're adding artificial light so we can control the way the light looks because the natural light doesn't look good. Usually the sun is out and there are shadows that are not flattering to the subject. So we replace the sunlight with our own light. Now our situation today is a little different. Because it's so cloudy, the light is actually pretty good on our subject. So let's take a look at our subject here. So if I go right now to take a picture of my subject using just the natural light, it's actually not going to look bad because there are no shadows on my subject's face. So the first thing we're going to do is just take that photo just as an establishing shot. I'm going to go to my lowest ISO, which is 100. I'm going to use 1 60th of a shutter speed because I know I'm going to need that shutter speed later so that my camera can communicate with the light. So all I'm going to do now is use my aperture to get my exposure correct. Usually we would advise you not to use aperture to get your exposure correct. Usually we would say use your ISO to get the aperture correct. Use your aperture to get the depth of field that you like. But in this case we're going to violate that a little bit. I'm just going to start off at an aperture of 5.6 and see if my exposure is correct. So at 5.6, my subject is really dark, so I'm going to start letting in light through the aperture. F4. Subject is still dark. F2.8. Still a little dark. F2. F2, my subject is good. So I could take this shot at ISO 100, 160 shutter speed. F2 and my subject will look good and my background will look good. So let's do a quick shot like that. Beautiful. Maybe turn a little bit to the side like that. You can fold the arms or something like that. Beautiful. So everything is fine there. Now my snow might be a little bit overexposed at F2. So if I wanted I could do some at 2.8, get the snow to be a little darker and then in post-production brighten up my subject. Now another way I can take this photo is to use an artificial light just to make the shot a little bit more interesting so that instead of having this flat light we can add a little bit of shadow and hopefully make it a little bit more interesting. So what we're going to do is essentially we're going to leave the settings that are correct for the snow which we said was 160 ISO 100 and f2 except we're going to darken that a bit so it looks a little bit more interesting. So I'm going to go to f2.8 so that my background is correct, but just a little bit dark. So let's see what the background looks like. We're going to make the background even darker. Here, so at f4, my background is a little darker than it should be. And I think when you're balancing artificial light and natural light, making your background a little darker than it should be looks pretty cool. So here's what we're going to do. Here's our process. We're going to add the light to in a position where we think it might look cool. In this case, just a little bit to the side usually looks good on our subject. So about right here. So assuming the light is in the right position, the next thing I need to do is figure out what power setting do I put the light on. So the way I like to do it is to put the light on its lowest power. For this light, that is the power of 2. That power doesn't mean anything. It's not F2 or anything like that. That's just what Profoto calls two on their power scale. So I'm going to take a photograph with the power set at two, keeping the camera settings the way I set them for my background. So this is at two. Good. So at two, I don't see any effect from the light. The power is too low. I could jump the light to six or seven, but we're going to kind of do this more methodical so you can follow the process. I'm going to go from a power of two to the power of three and take a photograph. At three, my subject is still too dark. Going to four. Subject is still too dark. I go to five. Subject is getting a little bit of light. Still not enough. Going to try six. And at six, it might be correct, but I'm going to check seven just to be sure. And I believe somewhere between 6 and 7. Kind of hard to tell on a screen. I'm going to split the difference and go to 6.5. So now what's happening at 6.5 is the subject is getting the correct amount of light from the Profoto Beauty Dish and the ambient settings of 160, 100, and F4 
are making the background look nice, but just a little bit too dark, just a tiny bit too dark. Usually I think that looks better when I'm trying to balance the two shots, okay? So uh, maybe try hands on a hip and look a little bit to the side, just so your head turns a little bit to where our light is. Beautiful right there. Yeah, that's fantastic. Nice. Right here. Look here a second. Beautiful there. And then just change the hands. Maybe fold them. Good, good, good. Perfect right there. A little bit of smile. We could be happy. There we go. Look towards your light again. To review the process, here's how it works. First, we figure out what are the settings we need on our camera to make the background look nice. Then we make the background just a little bit darker. We're going to lower our ISO or we're going to change our aperture, whatever we're going to do to make that background just a little darker than it should be. Once we figure that out, we leave the camera settings alone. We add our artificial light. We put our light at the lowest power setting and we keep increasing, increasing, increasing until the subject looks correct from the artificial light. Okay, And that's how we balance artificial light with natural light.